that speech was hilarious. Okay, first of all, I want to thank her high school drama teacher for giving us this beautiful speech. Okay, I love the cheesy kitchen table references, not once, not twice, but approximately 28 times throughout the speech. And that's why we're at the kitchen table. I know we got the analogy, we got it so much earlier in your speech, okay? And she, and I, my favorite though was the up and down. Like when she's talking about the American people, she's so happy, she's so thoughtful of our proud patriots. Who were drenched in blood? That was a weird turn, weird turn, okay? But you know, as they were walking in the footsteps filled with blood, it gave me great hope for Americans just like you. But then she go to the other parts of the speech and she's like, I'm so worried about the days when Biden, this dithering and diminished president, has us in such dire straits. Look, that was a hilarious piece of acting by Katie Britt, the very junior senator from Alabama. So by the way, how'd she get there? How's she in the United States Senate? Uh, well, two things, one, donors, of course. Uh, and so when she's like, I wanna fight for families just like you, Exxon Mobil and Lockheed Martin and Pfizer, you have little, well, you don't have children, but you, you're not really people, but you have little tax cuts we have to give you as Republicans. Oh, Please, you're for the average man, average worker, what? Which policy? You didn't state a single policy because you don't have a single policy. So she got there, second way was kissing Trump's ass. So uh, Katie Bre Brett beat Mo Brooks, who was a diehard MAGA guy, one of the most conservative Republicans of my lifetime. Because she managed to kiss Trump's ass more than Mo Brooks did. He threw Mo Brooks under the bus and she won the primary and she won overall. But that was basically a mean girl speech where she'd like, like take little shots at Biden, like, can you believe on purpose he let them cross the border? These murderers. I'm like, bring it down, bring it down. You're so, such an over the top actress, it's ridiculous. He's not authentic. Did I nail that line? Did I nail it? It's in the prompter, I read it. I went up and then I went down, I went up and then I went down. I know, I know, Katie, we all saw with our own eyes. Okay, and then she's from Alabama. In Alabama, the Supreme Court just said, uh, uh, like, little clumps of cells in a petri dish are human life. So that puts the IVF industry in jeopardy. And more importantly, it puts Republican politicians in jeopardy because it polls really poorly. So she came out to assure the good people in the country. Don't worry, we've also read the polls and it turns out our positions suck and they're really unpopular. So I'm here to pretend we don't have them. That was the conservative Supreme Court that did exactly what we wanted. But now we're gonna pretend we're on the opposite side of the issue. Okay, so uh, as usual, totally useless speech uh, in terms of a Republican response by the, uh, like I said, junior senator from Alabama. Uh, there was only one thing she said that was true, uh, which was that uh, Biden is trying to ban TikTok on the one hand, and then he's got his own TikTok page now because of the campaign on the other hand. But then that's the hilarious part about Republicans, like they can't leave well enough alone. That is true, then she has to go, it's because the CCP, that's the Chinese Communist Party, is trying to take over the country through people dancing on TikTok. And they do this, and then they do this, and what is that dance about? Next thing you know, we're all communists. <laughs> but I believe in the goodness of the American people. Make up your mind, are you sad or are you happy? Well, look, the one thing I gotta give Brit credit for is that was entertaining. It was hilarious. So Republicans, for once, thank you.